Hello and welcome to yet another dimension. I am Jeremy, and this is Terry, or Demented One, if you want to watch me on Twitch. And yeah, he tw he streams a lot, mostly Halo. I wouldn't say a lot, Ca just casually whenever I my depression's not acting up and I want to play video games. Wow, it got super dark, <laughs> super fast. Let's get back to the positivity, because. <laughs> We, we, I mean, he got a lot of shit for January pickups video. This is what it, this is. Yeah, this might be my most impressive uh, video yet, or month yet. Man, I can't start the year off with a heart attack. Come on. It, it was just my birthday, but I didn't get a lot. Oh, yeah. He joined the 30 Club. Oh, yeah. So my back, I, I woke up on my birthday, and my back was hurting, so I know how it is now. Just wait for the heartburn to start. This is this is super depressing already. <laughs> let's get let's get our like you know hopes up a little bit more because we're about to show you some great games. Uh, you've seen some of this already in our road trip video or a game trip. Yeah, I'm gonna reshow my stuff too. We're also yeah. gonna do it a little different this time since I have a lot and Jeremy just has a little like decent amount. Yeah, I only have like a couple extra shit. He's just gonna show all his all his stuff straight and then pass me the torch. And I know he has some super bangers. So I can't wait to see it. Uh, so let's let's get to it. Shout, uh, out, shout out to Chad early because he gave me a lot of the shit you're about to see. Shout out to all my <clears> friends <throat> that are sitting right here because that's all I have. And Eric, I guess. <laughs> and Andrew. Everybody that's on the videos are my is my friends. So let's get to it. Without further ado, I'm going to show you guys first all the stuff I got on the uh, game trip. Let's show the magazines again. Nintendo Power. Kirby. Have, have you looked through F all these? Zero. Things? I looked through. Probably the Resident Evil one. The Resident Evil one, the 200 uh, copy issue, and uh, I as soon as I saw these, I was like, I gotta get it. And uh, after right afterwards, I almost shit my pants in that store. Oh my god! But, Good uh, times. I wish I had. I wish we had a blooper <laughs> reel of that for the picture. I know, man. I was like, <laughs> I ran out. And then Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes. This is like the GameCube era of. Um, the Nintendo Power, so I love that uh, era, and I also love this is the PlayStation <coughs> Magazine from when uh, Metal Gear Solid came out, Metal Gear Solid Four. <coughs> then some uh, controllers, the uh, the purple controller, translucent. Love N sixty four controllers, and also mm -hmm. the translucent black for the original PlayStation. I wish it was um. You know, Dual Shock. Okay, actually use that. I don't really use the. Yeah, it's more for collecting oh, yeah. purposes. But I got that for that was like thirteen dollars. That was this is twenty. Let's get to the few games I got. Uh, Dead or Alive Four, and this is exclusive to the Xbox, right? Was it? I think I don't ever see this on the PS4. I don't either. I mean the PS3. Yeah, yeah. I don't ever. Yeah, I that. saw. It's weird that this is. Exclusive. Dead or Alive Three was exclusive to the original Xbox, so I imagine maybe Dead or Alive Four is the same. That makes sense. And this game is going up in price. Get it while you can. Uh, and also, it's my goal to beat uh, Eric and all his favorite Dead or Alive games, and do it on stream. Uh, I'll probably never beat you in Halo, so oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not even. That's not a goal for me. <laughs> <laughs> Star Wars Force Unleashed 2. That's a great deal for it. Uh, $8. One of the better deals I got. Coraline on the Wii. I looked up gameplay of that. Um, it looks alright. It kind of... it's The, the reviewers are kind of mixed on it. Because yeah. it, it kind of has like the motion control shit. But like uh. the... Yeah, it was it wasn't looking that good. It, uh, but it does have like a cool world. You get you get to explore more of the house. Yeah, I like the movie a lot actually. Yeah, so if you're like interested in that movie a lot, I think that'd be good for fans of that. Then I got Ridge Racer Six exclusive to the uh, Xbox 360. When I opened this up, it smelled like a smoker. It doesn't smell like smell like that anymore. But I finally opened this up. Uh, this is like forty dollars now. Get it while you can. Then. My Holy Grail for, I guess, my Resident Evil collection. We have the long box version, original copy of the original Resident Evil. And I have it in the protector case. I also got that in the game trip. And it has the foam. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. It has the foam protector. Uh, and I love it. And it's one more Resident Evil game that I need to get. Resident Evil Gaiden on the game. It's a mobile, yeah. Yeah, the Game Boy. Uh, that is the most expensive. Resident Evil is like $200, I think. 
It was that game disc replay once. I was like, nah, I, I'll never get it. I'll just get a repro, and then I'll have all of it, basically. Uh, there's, like, other ports, but it's whatever. Yeah. But I'm so happy I got this, and he helped <coughs> me out. We traded a game that she'll show later yep. for it, and I got it for 60 So, I mean, Resident Evil, love it still. It's Evil. like half the price of what it's worth. Oh, yeah. It's like 100 plus, right? It's, I think it's 120 plus. Yeah, and it's in pretty good condition compared to the one I've seen. But that's enough about that. We talked about that in the game hunting trip video. Mm. And then let me show you some new stuff to the viewer. Oh, now, he, he got this hat, too. Oh, yeah, I got the hat, too. That's why I wore it. The Hunter Hunter hat. <laughs> yeah, the Hunter Hunter hat. Uh, and also, let's, sh let's uh, show you some stuff he got from, what, Chad, you said? Yeah. And he just gave it to me, <laughs> which I love him for. Now, let's show some big posters, some advertisement from GameStop. GameStop. I I was just in GameStop and was like, man, I wish I could just take this shit. Because they have an Elden Ring one. But this one... I wish I could have got some of the fucking cardboard cutouts, man, from Final Fantasies oh, or Kingdom man. Hearts or any game, really. Yeah, I any, oh, that's I any game. Yeah. I would have took any of them. Because it's one of a kind. I mean, yep. I guess it's not one of... It's like, you can't really buy it in stores. Apparently, they'll let you have them. Like, if you go in and ask... if Well, it, at the GameStop... It depends on who it is. Where you're cool... Like, back when the Linkin Park GameStop had the everybody I was cool with... Yeah. I had the opportunity to get those, but I wasn't collecting like I am oh, now, man. Oh, man. That would have been so fucking cool. Because it's unique. Like, yeah. Nobody really has that stuff. Yeah. If I was working at GameStop, man, I would have all that. But... Back to this. this is the GameStop promotion one of those big posters. I'll show you guys. We'll put, we'll take a picture of yeah. it and stick it in. And uh, we'll definitely stick it in. Uh, PS3. Raw. Oh, this is the <laughs> the the raw, raw. red the not Resident Evil Metal Gear Solid. Uh, this is Raiden when he was cool. Was that Metal Gear Solid Four? Four. 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 And I love him. I'll love him forever. He got this kind of like he gave me this stuff for my birthday, so I love him forever for this. You got got me the also Metal Gear Solid Four, but it's Old Snake and I, this is one, my favorite video game character. And thank you so much. No problem. Welcome to the Thirty Club. Uh, yeah, Old Snake, Old Jeremy. Now, yep, the other stuff. Some more little goodies. Some. Uh, this is all still from Chad. Yeah, thanks, Chad. And uh, so this is like some more GameStop promotion. Fallout 3. The little empty cases that just say, like, reserve it now. and Yeah. And uh, that's cool. And I put the soundtrack in there as well. The music in it is really good. Uh, also, music that is super good. The Persona 3 soundtrack. And I absolutely love the Persona music. Thank you for that. That's mm -hmm. probably my favorite thing you got me other than the poster. And also this. This comes with the special edition for Metal Gear Solid 4. Um, it's like a uh, behind-the-scenes DVD. I haven't watched it yet. I, I still need to get the uh, collector's edition. It's funny how how much of that little extra shit was just like right up your niche. Oh like. yeah, hell yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> it's like yeah, Metal Gear Solid Fallout, and also this is not video game, but I just wanted to show it. B Big O. Uh, it, this is kind of looks like a um, Batman, like the art style. It's an anime though, like but it's like large robots and it has a soundtrack. It looks sweet. Thank you. Uh, Turok, I heard this game is trash, but I like yeah, demos. I like the N64 Turoks. Oh, yeah, those are good. That yeah. one, no. Yeah, if you can find another case like that, you get to shove that thing in. Yeah, and then, yeah, they had demos. I did, oh, oh, shit. I caught it between my legs. <laughs> so, I got the demos for uh, the SmackDown vs. Raw, official PlayStation Magazine, and Turning Point. I remember seeing that. That's funny. For 89 cents at Destiny Games. And that's the only place I actually went to other than GameStop today. Now, some new games that you haven't seen. Besides Saints Row, you've seen this. I'm already, we talked about it because I'm a fucking idiot. I bought. I had this game already. I did the <laughs> same fucking thing. Uh, I got Anarchy Reigns in our game hunting video. Oh, yeah, yeah. You see it. And I already fucking had it. So I already I sold the double of it. The one, the, the one I got, though, is way nicer than the one I already had, so... And I'm happy I got this as well, because I have the Platinum Hits version, and this has... The 360 the Platinum Hits are ugly. I, I don't it's, like it It's like all. the ugliest, greatest hits yeah. out of everything. Besides, I think, like, the 
the PS One. The green doesn't bother me. It, it's just like it's so 90s. I like the black. I like the, the black. Oh, the black's way better. That's why I, I like the black so much more. Yeah. But the 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 uh, greatest hits. I mean, the platinum hits is fucking trash. I don't did, know what they hurt doing. It didn't look that bad on the original Xbox. No, it looks better. But this, I like the original cover, of course. Way better. Yeah. And I finally have it, and I want to <laughs> try it out. <clears throat> Um, before I guess the new one comes out the reboot, but it yeah. doesn't look that good. Now I got two more games and one I just got. So this month has been pretty slow. Besides the game trip, and the first one, I I would show Republic. You ever heard of this? No. <laughs> okay, so this is actually you know it's funny. It was the producer of this game, Metal Gear Solid Four. I forgot his name. He's a, he's an American guy. He started a company, and he also he worked on he worked on uh, Halo Four. Oh. So I know you don't like that game, but no, the campaign was pretty good. Okay. Oh, so he's the composer for it, right? I'm not sure if he's the composer, but he worked on it. I, don't, okay. I forgot his name. I thought they said they brought somebody from Metal Gear Solid to do that was a composer. It probably it might have been. Uh, so it's somebody from that, and he made a company, and then that's like their first game they released, and it's just like Metal Gear Solid. A lot of stealth action, uh, is hacking. Good? Is it good? It, 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 it's supposed to be good. And it's like one of the first games I really wanted on the PS4. And it took me like almost... It, it came out like 2015 or 16. Oh, really? And I finally got yeah. it. I was I just forgot about the game. And I see that for $10. And I got a $5 coupon from GameStop. Might as well get it. So, $5. I'm games. glad you found something, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's some... Man, there's a lot of games on PS4 I've never even heard of. It's yeah. just weird. But Bunch yeah, indie bullshit. Yeah. It's like games like well, how does this made like stay on the store now last game i mean it's an rpg made about by uh falcon don't they uh make Ease. east east and then the trail series yep yeah it's another game that i never heard of i don't know if you ever heard of this it's tokyo xanadu, uh, xanadu. you heard of this i have that you have this yeah you showed this you bought it during i've had that f for years oh so you haven't played it yet not yet <laughs> <laughs> it looked good uh, I got it for twenty one dollars. I mean, look at it. Yeah, that's the same one I got. Mm -hmm. I'm just double checking. Uh, it's like I think it's an improved version of it, but it's a you know high school RPG. It's an action RPG. Or action RPG, um, and I mean it looked cool. I looked up the the reviews on it, and it, it's a good price. It goes for more more than that, like thirty or forty dollars now. And oh really? I like the, yeah. Like, it, it's going up in price, and and it's uh, Falcon. You they don't really do other games other than East and Trails, so. It was interesting to see, but I don't think it's going to be a sequel. It, it came out like 2018 or 17. Um, but it looked cool, and I got good reviews, so I got it. And that is the last game I got for January. That's it, sir. So so let's clear off this table and so I, throw this shit off So I here. can start Pull this, this month right. I'm going to start off with just some randomness. So I got all this stuff from Chad. It's just a whole box of random controllers you know ps1 ps2 sega and it's for this random box of consoles that i got remember this is free all free from chad this is like the launch model ps1 it's got the rcas on the back oh and stuff. i never see those wow um there's a p a fat ps2 in here a genesis model one genesis model two a gamecube and a nintendo 64 that's got the expansion pack in it as well oh and a 360 the 360 is actually not in this box it had its own box and then oh my god i can't all. believe it you guys all know what that kind of stuff looks like so yeah so this this is all from chad too i got a game boy pocket with the game boy camera in it you know everybody always loses the the back port <laughs> this is the first thing he shows a game boy pocket with what was the camera you said yeah game boy camera on bro it. i remember that so much that's bring me back and it tastes like that shitty camera. Like, can't you like print it out? Like, yeah. go to see. You had to get the print. Game Boy printer. <laughs> it's a Game Boy Pocket. That is so fucking sweet. Like, is it really that as much smaller? Oh wait. Oh, so did this come out before color? I think so. Yeah. It looks just like a Game Boy color. Yeah. I, I want to get one of these. That is fucking sweet. Oh my god. I'm already mad. And then I got not one but two Game Boy Advances. <laughs> You know, it hurts so bad because you got it for free. It's not like you paid ten dollars, well, twenty dollars. Chad's my boy. I'm, I'm Chad, I'm, man. I'm Look. giving him an Xbox One controller. 
Um, I'm a Tyrone. So. I, owe, I owe him st- still like a favor or something. And I give him games that I get like digital codes on Humble Bundle sometimes. This guy's an asshole. Not so. you, Chad. This guy right here. <laughs> <laughs> you, all right, we're going to talk. We're going to talk because I want this white one. I might be able to uh, clean it out, uh, get Ryan to do it. The white, I, I would probably keep the white one if I was going to keep both of them. Oh, yeah. I'm not a purple guy. <laughs> <laughs> I probably yeah purple I always see yeah but the white I never see that is so fucking sweet so these next things... okay hold on a second I'm fucking pissed off because <laughs> I'm like I'm all seeing this for the first time go ahead man go ahead so I'm gonna still keep showing you stuff from Chad I have to drop kick you this one I got these these uh light guns oh my god. This one's, Namco ones. this one's for PS1. Oh, that's so fucking sweet. He had those? Yep. Oh, my God. So I got this one for PS1. I need that. This one's also a Namco one, but it's for PS2. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I don't have that one. Wait, do I have that one? Yeah, I have that one. I don't have this one. I don't have the PS1. That's so fucking sweet. When I was a kid, I had some Namco ones. They were blue. You could hook them up to PlayStation or Sega Saturn. That's sweet. This, Still, this, this is all his shit? Yeah. Damn, so, he's a good he's a gamer, man. I see. Yeah, he, yeah, he's a mostly a PC gamer at this point. Oh but. yeah, he traded in all the shit in. And then Bring, come back to the light, man. A console. I know it's shittier, but it's fun. I got the red and blue N sixty four controllers. We're gonna talk. We're gonna talk. Cause I need I <laughs> The joy the joystick ain't the best on the red one, but the blue ones ain't bad. Oh that boy. It's been it's been a while since uh it's been she's been touched. Yeah. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> Damn, we just ah, oh, and you got just continue to say this got this for free. Yep. Okay, this shit is not cheap. Go ahead. So, <laughs> I'll stay on the controller boat for a while. I got this red controller in the game hunting video. Oh yeah, so he he actually paid for that. You guys seen that? <laughs> I paid three bucks for it. Yeah, that's awesome. Which is basically free. And from Eric, I got this red Dreamcast controller. What, Eric? <laughs> You fucking asshole. I told you we not were, to sell it. We were both, me and Jeremy were both trying to get Eric to sell it to us, and then Jeremy left, and I ended up talking him into it by the time the night was over. Eric, you're fired. You're fucking <laughs> fired. You're not allowed to. I told, if you're not going to sell it, don't sell. Thank you, Eric. Love you, dog. It's all right, man. <laughs> so fucking. <laughs> so it's across the room. If it was like the yellow one, the yellow one is super expensive. I think that's, I mean, that's obtainable, but still, fuck you, Eric. Let's go. I need to get the red VMU now. Yeah, that's cool. Damn. So, I got this. I, I wonder why. Mm. New in box, the oh, yeah, PlayStation 3 S video uh, connection. I, I, I want to, I'm going to open it because I want to use the S video when I stream, mm-hmm. but I don't want to open it because yeah. it's new. <laughs> I wouldn't open it. But. When you start becoming the collector of controllers for fucking other systems other than Xbox, when did that happen, man? I, the Xbox ones, I only ever got the Halo ones. That is true, but still, so, I hate you. <laughs> so I'm still not, I'm still not on games yet. I'm still showing big stuff. He was really trying to get this red one too. I remember. I was like, if you want to sell it to me, man, okay. But he was like, you should sell it. To, you should sell it to me. You'll take no for an answer. Go ahead. I got this PS2 multi tap. Nice. I don't have any of the multi taps and this. Uh, it's the only one I need. Wait, really. how did you get that one? I got it at disc replay. It was oh, only okay. like seven bucks. Right. I got the FX Pack Pro. It's the Super Nintendo EverDrive. Oh. The really good one. Oh shit. It's the Christmas edition. Uh, it's a custom shape that fits in a Super Famicom or a Super Nintendo. That's why it looks. So it has every game on there. I well, I I put the games that were on it. You have to manually. You do have it. to do it. Okay. How much is that? That That was like two forty. Amanda's. My birthday's not till May, but Amanda, that's what she bought me for my birthday. That is sweet. I need to get one of these. Yeah. I mean, I want to collect for it, but man, some of it is like super expensive, and I I would like just to you know plug in and play. And to go with this EverDrive, I got the RGB modded Super Nintendo Junior. (laughs) You got the Junior. Thanks, Ryan. Damn! For, for it up with Let this. me see that. I never see the junior. I got the Retrovision cables too. I'll show you it before we leave. The how much better it looks. Damn! I like I like this one a lot. And does it? This one doesn't. Does it discolor like the other one? I, I, I've I never don't think seen so. one. 
But yeah, I like this. I like this design a lot. It's like super it looks like simple. a Super Famicom kind of or something. Like it looks like the top loader Nintendo a mm-hmm. little bit too. Yeah, I like I like the, the this uh, the top loader for NES. Yeah, I never I never I never really see that one. It's I see it's, it's expensive and it's rare. Yeah, Jay has one. Oh, he does. Yeah, that's sweet. So I also got. Damn. Okay, I'm so surprised. Like this. I just never know what I'm gonna see. <laughs> this is from Chad. I got a PlayStation One Game Shark. Here, Sweet. here's the disc, the part that plugs into the back, and the little memory card thing. He basically got his whole collection. Seems like. Yeah, he gave me. Yeah. He, he's condensing down because he's gonna move into like an apartment or something. Uh-huh. Um, because uh, he's selling his house. And oh, this is also from Chad. Hey, it's all to have good friends. You never see this. It's an Xbox 360 memory card. What? This is. I yeah, I don't remember him. I've never, I didn't know this was a thing. What? That is so cool. I want one now. Yeah. So that is that's like that's that's like the one of the last memory cards. Yeah. Because I can't remember the PS3. I don't think had a memory card. I but I think it. there was a way you can transfer it your PS2 stuff to PS3. But yeah. other than that, nothing. All right. So now the table's cleared off. Uh, let's get to the games. Oh yeah, there's games. I yeah. forgot about that. I forgot that there was games. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start with just some a uh, couple Nintendo consoles because I just got a couple games for them. So the first one's from Chad. It is Star Fox 64. Nice. And then I love Star Fox 64. One of my favorite uh, N64 games. I got this for like eight bucks at Disc Replay. Mad World. It's a fun arcade game. Uh, Platinum Games. Yep, that's why I got games. it. Yep, great art style. And then um, I got the case and manual from Chad. And bought the disc online. Metroid? Metroid Prime, yeah. Oh, yeah. One of the best games so, of all time on the I mean, the GameCube. I, I ended up getting it complete for 20 bucks. Nice. And then these are both still sealed. They're both limited run games. I got Ease Origin for the Switch. Oh, shit. Nice. And I didn't know that came out. No hmm. More Heroes Part 1 for the Switch. Oh, what? Just Part 1? Limited yeah. run? They have Part 2 as well. I plan on getting it. That's sweet. You, you and Eric always talk about it, so I seen it. It was for Switch, so I said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna grab it." It's it's a fun game. It's a, it's really fun. And yeah, originally on the I'll probably keep Wii. this Ease Origin sealed because I have Honestly. it digitally on the PS4. Yeah, keep this sealed. Nice. Yeah. Wait, so you got that from? Where'd you get that from? I got Ease Origin from Amazon and No More Here No More Heroes at our the local Best Buy. Oh wow! They have a limited run yeah, game. They, there? they carry a couple limited run stuff now. Oh, wow, limited run is like big now. Yeah, super big. Well, if they're selling it at Best Buy, for sure. Yeah, but ain't no ain't so limited anymore. Go yeah. Ahead. Next, I'll do. Uh, let's do Sega Genesis. You guys seen this in the game hunting video? Aladdin. Yep. Capcom? No, Capcom didn't make that, did they? Mm, did they? They made Lion King, right? They made Lion King. I don't but... think. They... Oh, this is uh, Virgin Games. Okay. And then it's a great game, though. The rest of these Sega Genesis games, all from Chad. This game's called Mercs. Never heard of it before. It looked pretty cool. Let me see. This is Vector Man. Vector Man, yeah. Vector Man's pretty classic fun. from the yeah. old school. I got Our Real Monsters. Ah, Real Monsters. One of my favorite cartoons growing up. Yeah, me too. I think I liked it more than most people did. I don't know. No, I love that show. It was I, like I think, horror. I think it was underrated. Yeah, not, yeah, it's it was on for a couple like seasons, I think, and then people kind of forgot it. Yeah, it's not like uh, the other shows from that time. That's I uh, I think Tim Curry did the um, what what was the, the teacher's boss? name? The teacher or whatever. Yeah, I forgot his name, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I got uh, Taz in Escape from Mars. That's the game I had as a kid. Yep. I, wish, I think I still have that, actually. And yeah. then I got Desert Strike and Jungle Strike. And what is that? Uh, you're a plane, and you could pick people up. I don't know. It's hard to explain. They're pretty fun games. Okay. I used to have one of these two as a kid. I and don't you know, know one. you know it's an EA game because how it's uh, shaped. Yeah, because it's this ugly-ass cartridge yeah. with the yellow thing on it. EA was even <clears throat> bad back then. Yeah. <laughs> Next, I'll start with the Xbox One. Yes, I actually got an Xbox One game. What is that? You want to you know why? <laughs> Well, it's technically a Series X game, too. So. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, wow. It's Assassin's Creed Valhalla Steelbook. Oh, Steelbook. Okay. Yeah. So, guess how much I paid for this at Disc Replay? Well, like $2. $2. $2. Why? This is a brand new game. What the fuck? 
And it's a steelbook <clears throat> edition? Yeah. That's fucking you know how, sweet. You know how I am with my steelbooks. Yeah. And you, look at it. It's like brand new. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You'll get any steelbook, but... For $2? Yeah, as long as it's $2. I don't care if it's a Barbie steelbook yeah, for $2. I, yeah. I want to see that Barbie steelbook. There's a Barbie... Shit, there's a Barbie 3DS game that's worth like a couple hundred bucks. Yeah. I forgot. I bought it, I guess. But damn, $2? <clears throat> they just be giving games... How did they make money? <laughs> that means they bought it off somebody for like... 10 cents? 75 cents or something. <laughs> That's weird. Why do they think nobody's going to buy that game? I guess uh, Xbox... I never look in the Xbox One section. I, I scan start. for s- Steelbooks. That's yeah. it. Oh, well, I got that off the cart. There, I asked to see the oh, cart behind okay. the... All right. So nobody got to it. Because, yeah, yeah. I would have definitely bought that. Oh, yeah. $2? Oh, yeah. Steelbook? I only have, like, five Xbox One games. Yeah. That's including that. I have, like, two. <laughs> now, digitally, I have a shitload. Mm. But... Yeah. All right, so I'll keep the Xbox train rolling. We'll do 360 next. A big I, stack, man. So I got the best game on the 360. I love it. Uh, Ride to Hell Retribution. The greatest game of all. You'll time. never, they'll never make a better game than this. Oh man, just look, 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 yeah, up look, the, look up gameplay. Look up the just the it's just the first minute is classic. Go ahead. And this is the game. Classic. Classic that I bought that I had a double of already. Anarchy Reigns. I, this is the one I kept. <laughs> Platinum Games once again. Yep. Oh, th- game. this was a, a dollar steel book from this replay. Sniper Ghost Warrior. I buy that for a dollar. Yeah, I'll definitely buy that for a dollar. Oh shit! I li- see. I like. I I like these type of steel books. Like sometimes where it's just like the the case and has the logo yeah. on it instead of a slip cover. Yeah, that's cool. But again, dollar. And where? I- from where? This replay. This replay. Damn, man! You guys, how do you? <laughs> Thank you, Disc Replay. How the fuck do they stay you. in business? <laughs> this I got from Chad, Armored Core 4. Gotta, oh, lo- gotta yeah. love the mech games. Mm-hmm. This is from Chad, War Tech. I don't even know what it is. It, it has looked, to be exclusive. I've never it, heard it. It looked cool. It is, yeah. yeah. It's an Ubisoft game, but it does not look like something Ubisoft would make. War Tech Senko Rande. It looks like it's a mech fighting game. It has like it anime characters. It looks like on it's the back. from a J- Japanese studio. It had to have been that they own, maybe used to own or still maybe do. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna look this. This must be <laughs> cheap. Is it cheap? I don't know. Like the front cover looks so generic, but then you look in the back, it has like anime characters. It looks kind of cool, actually. I got so much stuff this month, I didn't get around to playing it all. So, and I hardly, Me I hardly ever hook up my 360. I got that's. I'm gonna put that on my list. To see what, because I, I never heard of that game. I thought I'd seen it, seen it all on the Xbox. I haven't. These next two games I got at uh, Media Reload, Way of the Samurai 3. Oh, yeah, I, I got these that. on the game hunting trip. Good and series. also Front Mission Evolved. I'll oh, see all these mech games. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, I got this off of eBay. I don't got the case yet, but mm. it's a, a Square Enix game. Project Silphied. It's like a shmup or something. Yeah, I have it that. It looks pretty cool. I just shoved the manual in there. That way you can see what it is. I think there's an exclusive as well, I think. Yep. Yeah. And then the last 360 game I got... I paid either three or four bucks for it, but it's the Dark Souls 2 Steelbook. Ooh, I got that. And it's again, kind of, yeah. That's, that's cool. Three, again, three or four bucks. Uh huh. You have to get it. Like, it's like on. a sore dick. You can't beat it. <laughs> can't beat that line. I, yeah, I got that when it originally came out. It's, uh, it's a good game, but a great Steelbook. <laughs> I like how it raises up. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. I'll keep the Xbox train rolling. I have some de- I actually have one a couple pretty decent games for the original Xbox. Uh not this one. This one's just okay. It's a Zurich. I haven't played that yet. It's a exclusive. Uh it's gonna be weird over here. Whatever it should stack. That was a exclusive for five bucks, so I figured fuck it. Another exclusive, Crimson Skies. I got this off a of GameStop's website for two dollars. That's a good I- uh What's it? What would you call that type of game? Uh, a dog, dog fighting. fighting. Yeah, dog fighting game. So I, I was already buying stuff off of GameStop's website. Mm-hmm. So this was too. I always look in their retro game section just to see what they have because it's mm-hmm. always cheap. And this was in there, so I grabbed it. I never look at that. I gotta look at that more. Yeah. I got Guilty Gear X2, but I got that in the game hunting video. Oh yeah. Oh, I actually, that. actually, I ended up returning the one I bought in the game hunting mm-hmm. video. Because Chad get, had this in the games he gave me. So technically I got that for free. <laughs> nice. Got this in the game hunting video. Gauntlet, uh, Seven Sorrows. I gotta, yeah, we gotta see how that plays. Yeah, it's probably fun, man. All the Gauntlet games are fun. Oh, classic. I got, um, did Chad give me the disc for this or did I buy it? I can't remember. Oh, I bought it. I bought the disc for this. I can't remember where. 
Oh, that's a sequel. My bad. Yeah, Knights of the Old Republic 2. I haven't played that yet. Yeah, and then I found the case online for cheap. Obsidian now, they're owned by Xbox. Yeah. Shout out to Eric. Which I got one? Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball. Never mind, I know what. <laughs> but Of course you did. It was 20 bucks, mm-hmm. but I need so I I needed I spent $50 at this replay tailor, right? Mm-hmm. And I had a 75 or $25 off $75 purchase. So, I can get 25 more dollars in games for the same price. So I just went over, I seen this in good condition, grabbed this, and I can't remember the other game I grabbed, actually. I wonder why. I wonder why. <laughs> it's so many games. We gotta play that later. So I'm done. <laughs> and then I got this. Not on stream. I got this next game on the Xbox, because it's way cheaper than the PS2 version, and it's Castlevania Curse Ooh, of Darkness. Yeah, it is way it's cheaper. Like Less than twenty bucks or something on the Xbox. That has a really sweet cover. I don't know yeah. about the game. Fucking though. every Castlevania has a sweet yeah. cover. I always kept up the uh, the quality in that. I don't yeah. know about the game, so especially the N sixty four one. Ooh, that's so bad. And this last game is uh, a game I used to like on the original Xbox. I think they remade it, but it's getting up there in price. It's the Call of Cthulhu. Ooh. Nice. Yeah. I've been wanting that. That's one of the main games. Like, oh, and it's complete? Yep. What'd you get? You said where you get that? Chad. Chad. Chad's the man, man. Chad Chad's is the, the man. man. He's, he's the all. He's, he's, he's the MVP of this pickups video. He's the for MVP sure. of the pickups video, and so far this Shit, year. Shit, for both of us. Oh, fuck yeah. I got some stuff. I didn't even, I'm not even thinking about it. He just gave <laughs> me some stuff. I don't even know him. You're my favorite Chad now, even though I don't really know you. <laughs> all right, so next I'll do. Uh, fuck it, I'll do Dreamcast. Dreamcast. Got to add to my Dreamcast collection. So the first game I got. You already oh, got that damn, one. Damn, hold on. Let me, re- let me organize these real quick. Right, I'm going to look. I forgot to organize. I want to look so bad at his crotch. Man. All right. So my bad. I forgot to organize Dreamcast for some reason. So first game I got. I got the first game in the series on PlayStation 1. It's a, like a cool little horror game. Nightmare Creatures 2. Oh, yeah. Great game. Missing the manual, but it, it does have the back art. Uh, I highly recommend. I haven't really played that one. That one's more like you know. I guess they, he's in like an insane asylum. Yeah. But the first one's a lot of fun still. Yeah. For like a twenty plus year old, old game. It, it's I, I fucked around with that a little bit. It was pretty fun. And then next I got this from Jeremy. Um, Evolution. What's up, man? Gotta love my my JRPGs, man. Yep. And uh, we not- had that as a kid, and I, I loved it. <laughs> I'll just get it again. There's not a whole bunch of them on. The uh, Dreamcast. No, there's not. Like, I already have Skies of Arcadia. I mean, there's not a lot of games on the Dreamcast in general. There's a lot of arcade games and fighting games. Yeah. The next game I got on the game hunting trip, the Evil Dead, Hail to the King. You get a lot of Evil Dead, it seems like. Yeah. Or there's a new new game coming out soon. Yeah. The next game I got, um, Record of Lodoss War. Oh, is that an RPG? uh, No, it's like a Diablo-looking game. Let me see. But uh, it's based off of an anime. Oh, okay. Well, it's cool. Yeah. How much was this? Oh, that, that's a nice cover. I don't remember. 30 bucks. I got a disc only and then got the disc uh, online cheap again. I see you trying to get that Dreamcast yeah, console up. You know, see. N- not a lot of people have a decent sized Dreamcast collection. I don't even. Yeah. Their, games are hard to come by. I'd yeah. rather collect for that than other stuff. I don't mm-hmm. know. And then, then the last game it's I got. niche. I already have this game on the PS2, but I found the Dreamcast version really cheap. Not really cheap, but... It was like twenty dollars cheaper than its market value, and I just like the case better. And I would, if I'm gonna play it, just to play it on my Dreamcast, I'd rather do that. But it's Grandia too. Ooh, Grandia. And I got this on Amazon. Amazon for retro 30, games on Amazon. 30, I never get that for thirty bucks. I gotta start they're, looking on Amazon. They're all on there, but ninety percent of them are overpriced. Yeah, they because they know people know what they have. Yeah. All right. So next, I'll do PS3. What? Yep. I'm a, Blasphemy. I'm going to start it with the big boy. Oh. I got the Final Fantasy oh. 10 and 10 2 Collector's Edition. I didn't realize this was such so cheap. Yeah, it it's is like super cheap. It's like 20 bucks. Yeah, and it's, and it's a big... It's, it's cool, man. It's really fucking cool. I don't I don't have... I have like the smaller edition of that. Yeah. It's like a, a step down. Did you uh, get some brand new shit? I hear, I hear it. Plastic. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I hear plastic. Just, All right. Gamer sense is tingling. So I got Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. Oh, he's been looking for that. No, I want the oh, collection. This, the collection. This is, yeah. They had it for ten bucks at Disc Replay. Ten bucks? Yeah. I don't think that's that expensive yet. 
But the Sly Collection... It's worth more than 25 bucks. It is? Yeah, that's why I got it. Damn. Um, and then I got these next two games at Video Game Graveyard in Taylortown. Mm-hmm. I got Tears of Tiara 2. Oh, you asshole. I, I want that game. <laughs> I don't know... I, I, I don't know if it's a great game. Though. So it's an RPG on PS3, so I want to get it. I sold him my Atari seventy eight hundred that I didn't have any cords for. He uh-huh. actually had the cords to test it, and like some old Halo toys and stuff that I were just I would never put out and display again. Yeah. And I got sixty bucks in credit, and he has a buy two get one free. So I got that. Um, I got Tales of Graces F. That's a, that's a great RPG, great Tales game. And now, the last game I got for PS3, they were selling it for $15 at Disc Replay. I There was two copies. I bought them both. Uh, Jeremy bought one. There was a dick in it, drawn on the fucking <laughs> case. It was, it was a great... It was a, and it his, was a, a really detailed dick. It was something a, like super bad. It was a big, veiny, triumphant bastard, for yeah. sure. Mm, his was missing the manual, but I got the one with the manual. So for 15 bucks, I got Spider House Complete. That shit is expensive. Yeah, it's like a $70 game. Yeah, I don't know why. It's weird. Yeah. Because it's only a decent game. It's not nothing crazy. Yeah, I was playing. It's kind of... Eh. It's all right. So my, my two PS4 games I got, neither one of them are anything special. I got 13 for 6 bucks, brand new. I heard that is not good. I heard it's a bad <laughs> remaster. I, I almost got it because it's so cheap. The original game is fun. Mm-hmm. And then I got Zone of the Enders, Ooh. the second runner. This is only 10 bucks on eBay. So that's just only the second game? I think so, yeah. Okay. I'm going to try that out. I like the art. That's the only I love. That's my favorite art. Hideo style. Kojima did the Zone at the Enders game, didn't he? Yeah, he. Pro- I think he produced it. I'm not sure if he directed it, but yeah, yeah, he had his hands on it. Yeah. In between, Metal Gear Solid two and one. So all I got left now is the big boys. Oh man. So I'm gonna move this kind of. I don't know. I'm just gonna move this out of the way. Hold on, let me check my blood pressure. Okay. I'm gonna start uh, the big boys with PS2. This is from Chad. Gran Turismo 3. A spec. Is that just regular Gran Turismo 3? I don't remember. Uh, yeah. I th- that's, well, that's just what they're call- they called it. Okay. Not a big racing fan, I'll tell you No, that. not at all. I'm surprised you got that. I'm like, what? <laughs> well, it's from Chad. <laughs> yeah, so. I mean, you got it for free, so. Yeah. Also from Chad, Nightfire 007. I have it for Xbox, but. That's supposed to be a good one, I think. Pretty good game, so I figure I'll keep it for my PS2. Mm-hmm. I got the Mega Man Anniversary Collection and the Mega Man X Collection. Nice. Capcom Classics. Oh, yeah. Mega Man X3 is too fucking expensive, so I'm going to play it on here. Exactly. That's why I, I get those. It's like, what, $200 plus? Or $300 plus, is it more I think, for than X3. It? X2 is like $200. Why? Damn. Is it really that rare of a game? That's... Te- oh, yeah. Tekken. Mm. Tekken Tag, I got when I was at uh, Disc Replay using one of my 25 off 75 coupons. Tekken Tag, that was my first game I ever played on a PS2. The fire in it blew me the fuck away. Like, the- games can't get look any better than this. Yeah, for real. 20 plus <laughs> years later. I For real. I mean, it still looks good, though. The first game I played on PS2 was Madden 2002. Oh. I mean, Madden, I used to play Madden 2, but yeah. even back then, I, I really didn't like sports games at all. I used to. Yeah. I but like NBA I don't Jam and anymore street. at yeah. fucking all. Yeah, I just played in real life. Yeah, <laughs> I got the first Sly Cooper. Oh, nice. Yep. And oh, it's, yeah. It's... So you decided to get the PS2 ones. Yeah. Well, I, that one was it's part of another good. De- I got a good deal. So. Okay. So you might as well get it. Yeah. You know? Then this is from Chad. I got the first Silent Scope. Is that a light gun game? I don't think so. That's another uh, launch game. I think. No, I don't think that's a light gun game. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I play. I've only played Silent Scope on arcade. Wait, it's, it's Konami, so it might. Is it? No, that's what. Then what the kind of game is that? Is that a first person shooter? It's, it's like an on rails kind of. You but use your controller and you have to pick where you shoot. Oh, okay. I always thought that was a um, light gun game. I guess I was wrong. So this is the other game I got from Video Game Graveyard. Oh. Lupin the Third, Treasure of the Sorcerer King. The fuck. You see, you've seen the anime Lupin. Yeah, right? I know that, but yeah. I didn't know it was a game. It honestly doesn't look that fun. I just I didn't uh, know what that, else to get. That cover is kind of lame. Or they just yeah. used the anime. I had absolutely no idea what to get as my third game, but I'm not gonna pass up a free game. Um, I wouldn't pass up anything that says Adult Swim on it. So I love Adult Swim. Yeah. And Open Third, it's a good game, uh, series, old school yeah. anime series. I actually do want that. See if it's good. So this is from Chad, Armored Core Two. 
Oh yeah. He already gave me number four, you know, on the 360. From software, right? Yeah. We got. I see that all the time in Discord, but I never get it. We got Alone in the Dark. Oh. For PS2. So I heard that's not a good game. But it was like three dollars. Yeah. The actually, you know, it's funny. The PS3 version is supposed to be the best one because that came out the last, the last version of it. It's still not a good game though. It says it includes a bonus disc, but I'm not seeing the bonus yeah, disc in the there. Bonus. Fucking liars. Assholes. I got this in the game hunting trip. It's the Star Ocean. Oh yeah. Till the end of time, but I got the. I already had it, so really, I just got the. I rebought it again because I didn't have the cardboard, and I just sold the other one I had. I didn't even know it had a cardboard. Yeah, I didn't either until I seen it. The early collectors <clears throat> edition. <clears throat> yeah. Or pre-orders. I got this off of eBay cheap. Wild Arms three. A little I black, got, big ass. Yeah, what? I don't know what the fuck that is, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think they were like covering up the old price or something. Yeah. They didn't do a really good job. But though. while uh, I got one and two on PS One. I like my JRPGs. You ever played? You ever beat the first one or played it? I've only played the first one and the second one just a little bit in, hour mm-hmm. or two in. That's, it's a Sony one too. Got La Pucelle Tactics. Oh yeah, with the. Uh, I like my tactics game. I like the art, but this case this. looks like it was beat to shit. You know what's so funny? I have the same game, and it looks just like that. It, really? it looks like I don't know water damage or just somebody like shitting on it. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I don't fucking get it. It's I have the exact game, exact same problem with the same game. It's weird. That's, that's I gotta show you. <laughs> I got this next game in the game hunting trip, Breath of Fire Dragon Quarter. Ooh, Capcom. Got a low, like I said, I like my JRPGs. Mm-hmm. And I mean that got not good at rev- as good reviews. I think because it's like a like a different type of game. I think it's action RPG. I'll right? like that better probably. Yeah, you probably yeah. That's why it's for you. I got this in the game hunting trip, Romancing Saga on the PS2. Damn. How many PS2 games you got? I, got, I still got a decent amount <laughs> left. Still on the JRPG, JRPG train. I got Sui Coden 4. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Look at that. I like the covers of these so much. Damn, look at that. I like that disc art, too. I miss... They don't get tried all on shit no more. No, they don't. We say it all the time, but... Come on, man. The shit. It just it depresses me. Old shit was just so fucking beautiful. That's why I like collecting new shit. It's not as fun. Not at all. You don't even get manuals. No. I mean, I was remember that one time I was look, looking at that the Final Fantasy set ten manual. Like it's fully colored. It has like beautiful pictures in it. It's like fucking fifty pages in it. And shit. Yeah, and then I get a game, uh, the Republic game, and it comes with nothing. Yeah. It comes with nothing. Like a receipt. That's all I can show. They, they, that's what they put in there. It's a receipt it's holder. Like, there's, yeah, hold Those your little receipts. fucking clips. Yeah. This, ne- so. this next game's a Capcom game. Oh, shit. It's from Chad. Chad, man. You know I love Capcom. I thought we, we go far, far back. We went to the same high school. Come on, man. Let's like, see if you can guess. It's PS2? It's not crazy expensive, but the guy in the cover has red hair. Um, I don't know. Never mind. I don't know. It's Chaos Legion. Oh! <laughs> Where'd you get that from? Chad. Oh, Chad? Yeah. I've been... I hate you. You know what? You know, so funny. I've been looking at this game for so long at disc replay. It always has. I never see it at disc replay. I see it at disc replay. I think the one in Livonia. I probably you don't go there as often. No. I always go there, and they have like three or four copies. It's always disc only. It's not that expensive of a game, so I'm like waiting for it. I hate you. I like these type of games. It's like yeah, it's like. And again, the slash. cover art sweet. The fucking disc looks cool. Yeah, man. Look at it. That's why I like. Uh, that's that's some, one of the reasons why I like collecting because it's art. You know, you don't get that just from playing a game. You can display it. Especially the fucking Castlevania games. You want to talk about art? Yeah, exactly. Now this next game. Remember, um, Eric was talking about a uh, a game series he liked. I wanted to get the games in. Yeah, but what is he talking about? Hmm. I got Galarian's Ash from Chad. What? Oh. <laughs> Damn, that's pretty expensive right now. I think right? it's like forty bucks, maybe fifty bucks. Oh, the the first one is. Oh more, look, it's King more Video. Expensive. Oh sweet, they put it right on the fucking manual. Gotta love it. Yep. Whatever. King Video, that was my store back in the day. I though. actually don't mind because I don't have anything else that has a King Video sticker. Yeah, on. I, I'm actually jealous. Look at that I fucking disc. It's fucking sweet. I like the manual too. How it is? It looks yeah. sweet. It looks unique. Yeah, it's got a nice, it's got a nice art to it. See, that's that's another reason why, I mean, we're talking about it over and over again, but you see these 
cool manuals with beautiful art and it, you know, it enriches the game case. You know, what's the point of it? You don't have anything. Have you heard of uh, any of this? Enterbrain or Sammy Studios? I, I heard of uh, Sam, was it Sammy, Sammy? Sammy, I think. Yeah, I've heard of that. I yeah, think it's Sammy like, uh, they make Guilty Gear, I think. Oh, I really? Think. I, I thought think. Arc System Works made Guilty Gear. I, I know, I remember seeing a Guilty Gear game with uh, Sammy Studios on it, but uh, Galarian Ash, there's a one on the, uh, PS1, it's like um, it's five a horror game. I think that's a little bit different though. I think that's more up your alley. You know? Now this next game, I don't know if, if this game is up your alley, but I know you like the series a lot. Also from Chad, Resident Evil Dead Aim. Oh yeah, damn, that, that's an expensive game. That's probably why he had the light gun. Oh for yeah, PS2. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I have the same light gun. Yeah, no. it's a uh, it's a good game. If yeah, and you have the uh, CRT I, no. that I don't have. To hook it up, so. and it's a good game. It's a good light gun game, and it's even good without it. This is a decent spinoff for the Resident Evil. I heard it was good. The uh, the Japan isn't the Japanese version of that a real like light gun game that moves for you? Don't you have to manually move yourself in this version? You have to manually. Move. Yeah, I don't. I don't know about the uh, Japanese. You're probably right about that. I, I think. I think I read that. The, uh, yeah, that actually that's cool. I rather have, I think I'd rather have that like that. I have three games left for PS2. Mm-hmm. This next one's also from Chad. It's a horror game. It's a uh, what? Same director as the first Silent Hill. Oh, Siren. Yep, it's Siren. Yep, <laughs> that's a great game. With, they put the fucking sticker on that's the close. damn. It's not on the art though. It's not. Okay. But it's still on the fucking side. The ugly ass yellow GameStop, old school GameStop stickers. Yeah, I I hate when they put it on the art. Yeah. They do that sometimes too. It pisses it, me the fuck off. Is it complete? Yep. Chad, you got some good taste, man. I like you. I might not like you after this because <laughs> if you show me some more shit, then you got you. Go ahead. So this next game's from Dis Replay Livonia. These next two games are from Dis Replay Livonia. I got them at the same time. Okay. Wild Arms 4. Oh. I never see that. No. I, 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 the only one I'm missing now is Wild Arms 5, but that one's really expensive. Yeah. Like, look, it's X-Seed now. It wasn't always X-Seed. I forgot who oh, used X-Seed. to make it. Oh, uh, PlayStation. Sony. It was just Sony that made it? Uh, yeah, it was a published Sony game. Yeah, but again... I think it was. Got cool cover art. Yeah. Really cool fucking... Man, you making me want to collect for the PS2, man. All these JRPGs <laughs> and horror games. I hate you. Are you ready for the PS2 banger? Uh, I mean, a, these are already bangers, man. It's not like crazy fucking super hey, man, expensive. This, look, but I'm jealous. All these games It's are... a collector's edition, though. What is it? The Shin Megami Tensei one? Nope. It's more my type of game. I don't know. Growl answer. Oh, Heritage Growl of answer. War. Yeah. Oh shit, man. This is expensive. Be careful though, bottom. This shit's expensive, man. You got this from This Replay Livonia. How much? I over it was over 100 bucks, but I had the I had credit. I used a 20% off coupon mm-hmm. and a 25 off 75. We'll show you guys what it contains. <coughs> uh, and like some pictures, pictures or video yeah, or video, something. Video, yeah. <coughs> but yeah, I'm surprised you got this, man. It's a strategy game or like a tactical? tactics. Yeah. So what's funny with that game? Action is strategy. I had that game reserved as a kid while it was coming out. I put it up. And oh. canceled it because I wanted the money for something else. Oh, you. Oh. <laughs> now we got it back. Now. Yeah. I I had like one of those games on the PS2. I don't know which one it is, but I sold it a long time ago. I said it sucks. Yeah. I I needed the money at that. Like kind of like how Eric does. He. I needed the money at the time, man. So. so, the last system I got left is PlayStation 1. Oh. I don't know what... I, I think it, PlayStation 1 might be my favorite console to collect for, honestly. It, it is probably one of my favorites, too. I like PS1 PS2. and 2. Yeah. Because there's so many great games. Yeah. Like, in our favorite genres, yep. horror and RPGs. I, I did like collecting for Super Nintendo a lot, but now I got that EverDrive. I just... I don't know. Mm-hmm. I think I'm going to slow down on the Super Nintendo stuff. I mean, you got a lot of the, most of the great ones. I got all the ones I really want mm-hmm. for the most part. So so I guess let's just get right like, into it. I like collecting for the GameCube too. So That's I like my favorites. I don't got much for the GameCube at all, really. But I got, I got this just because it was $3 and it had uh, Sergey Fedorov on the front. We're from Michigan. So. Yeah, NHL face-off. Mm-hmm. I don't have many long box games, so... And that's like the what, cardboard one. Huh, there's yeah. like a. It's not like the Sega Saturn case. case. Yeah. And then, 
I don't have a real case for this, but I got Spawn for PS1. Spawn for PS1? Yeah. What? I don't even know about that game. And look at that case. I mean, the, the disc is cool. I don't really know nothing about it either. I just, I liked Spawn I growing like Spawn up. I like Spawn a lot, yep. So I seen this. It was 10 bucks. The, anima the animated series? Yep. It's fucking badass. Again, I had credit and stuff, so I figured, fuck it, I'm just going to grab it. it. Some of them you've seen in the game hunting video, yeah. like this first one. Area 51. Game Pond. Yep, from Game Pond. Game Pawn is the shit. They, they are. Check them out. Got this next one at Disc Replay and Taylor. The original RPG Maker. Oh, wow. I've never actually fucked around with that. I don't know. I like the art on the front, and it was mm -hmm. only 10 bucks. I think it's cool that they have you uh, You know what I mean? And it make, was try to make RPGs. Complete. The art on that is fucking sweet. The yeah. Disc. So, yeah, let's see if we... Oh, there we go. That's sweet. That's how you know it's a kind of early PS1 game. Yeah. The art's pretty cool. I got this at Disc Replay in Troy. Uh, I never heard of it, but I looked at the back and it looked cool. And they had it marked at like half of the market value. It's a Crystal Dynamics game called The Unholy War. Never heard of that before in my Look life. Look at it. It looks pretty sweet. Yeah, it does. It's very 90s, but <clears throat> I like it. It's cool. It kind of reminds... You ever seen the Mortal Kombat, the original one? When uh, Scorpion... Not Scorpion, but Reptile changed into that, the, the Reptile. Yeah. kind of looks like that. Nostalgic for that. That looks cool. Yeah. I've never heard of this. Me either. And Crystal Dynamics is a good company. Yeah, they usually make pretty good shit. Hmm. Wow, yeah, you showing me some that, new shit. That was another game where I needed uh like seven more dollars to be able mm -hmm. to hit seventy five to use a coupon. Okay, yeah. So, this game's from Chad. It's oh, Metal Gear Solid VR missions. Damn. I you, need that you, still. You really don't have this? No. Look I at that. always I always pass on it. Look at that family video stamp. Oh damn. <laughs> They stamped the dog shit out of that. They made sure you ain't selling that shit. I don't know if you could even see it in that. But... No. <laughs> oh, look at looking in the back here. Soul of the Samurai, Vandal Hearts too. The art's sweet on that too. Let me see that. Actually, yeah, I don't. I don't. It's not really expensive. But, <coughs> no, I think it's like twenty five bucks, right? The reason why, yeah, the reason why I'll get all that art, man. Look at that. Fucking sweet. PS PS One. I like the discs too. I love it so much. And yep. Mega Solid, my favorite series. Mega Man X4 I got from Disc Replay. Nice. Have you ever, how, how many X games have you played? One through four. And you, the first one's still your favorite, you think? One or two. One or two, okay. Yeah. I got so many of them. This and the Game Hunting Trip, Space Jam. Oh, yeah, you got it for $5. Yeah, five bucks. Five dollars, Buster. I actually got this game... A couple months ago, but I've had it up for sale and it hasn't sold. Mm -hmm. So at this point, I'm just gonna keep you it. Just keep it, yeah. X Men Mutant Academy Two. Oh yeah, you yeah, you got that a long time ago. Yeah, if you remember, I talked about a guy that gave me like a milk crate full of PS One games. It was in that. Yeah. Uh, and then this game, I already had it, but greatest hits. I got it in the game hunting video, Chrono Cross. Now I got the black label, which looks way better. The discs look better. So I bought this off of. Uh, well, actually, my girlfriend got me this for Christmas like a year or two ago. Um, off of Square Enix's website. They were still making it. Mm -hmm. And so it says Square Enix on the front, even though it's a PS1 game. And the discs, the bottom of the discs are silver. The fuck? Because it's, uh, they still make it or whatever. Yeah. That, that is so fucking sweet. Yeah. I see why you want to keep it. Yeah. I, I, I want. I kind of want to get one of those. And it's brand, uh, they might be sold out now, I'm not sure. But, and it's brand new. So That's I don't... so weird. You don't got to worry about nothing. It, does, it feels like a, it's like a fake game, like a fake case, but yeah. it's, it's, it's legit. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Eric for this next game, but I got this game for free from Chad again. It's Monster Rancher 2. You know. I can't. You got it for free. Yep. That shit is expensive, right? Huh? Yeah. I think. It's not that expensive? Maybe 40 bucks. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you got it for free. <laughs> I never really played the, that game. The next game I got from... My ears pop from all these fucking games. I can't remember where I got this from. I think this replay Livonia maybe. Uh Medieval 2. Oh, 2? Yep. I ain't got that yet. I have the first one on PS4, so Oh, the remake? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I I don't want to hear anybody talk about the sequel. I forgot this is a sequel. The Medieval games are really fun. Mm -hmm. So these next two games, right? Are the only two games I needed 
to complete my Squaresoft collection oh, for PS1. I, I mean, I knew you would get it. You, you had to get How it. How many times did you see me pass on one of them I know, on our real. game hunting video? So many times. So, at, now I officially have every Squaresoft game released in North America on the PS1. So, the first game is Tobal Number 1. Nice. And I believe it's complete. Yep. Disc, manual, and the Final Fantasy VII Interactive Sampler Disc. And it came out before? Huh, yeah. This is like one of the first games they released on PS1. And it's super fucking... Look how clean that is. It doesn't even look like a real case. Yeah. Damn. I and mean, where'd you get this? Um, Mercari. Why didn't they use the fucking art? <laughs> the Dragon Ball Z, the Akira. Akira Toriyama? Yeah. Because they're stupid. <laughs> they're idiots. But yeah, damn. Fucking sweet. <clears throat> it's a fighting game, right? Yep. The not very good fighting game, but is not there, terrible. Is there a Tobal number two? Yep. It did not release in America. <laughs> of course it did. Yeah. So, Ain't gonna be in Rush Hour 3, though. Oh, you might as well just keep stacking them, because I got some fucking... The rest are bangers, probably. <laughs> You're already banging it as is. So this next one is a double whammy. So, Saga Frontier 2. But if you look real closely oh. at this sleeve... Mm -hmm. I got this sleeve from Chad. So, it's a Funko Land sleeve. Damn, it is. <clears throat> How does he have a... F Damn, he has a Funko. That's even better than the game. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> that is insane. That's so cool. I already got the Funko Land dust covers. That's so cool. And now I got... I don't know you want to put that. Let's keep stacking. I'll just give you... Damn. So this next game, I was looking up... Uh, What was I looking up? I don't remember. Something about PS1 action RPGs or something. And I came across this Namco game. I never heard of it. Mm -hmm. It looked pretty fun. I think it was like un, uh, obscure PS1 RPGs, maybe. Uh oh. But it's called uh, Dragon Valor. I've heard of this, yeah. I don't know what it is. Maybe. And the disc art's really fucking cool here. It let me, is. Let me take it out of here. Yeah, show them. Show them. Show the audience. It's a two disc game. I don't got the real case for it, but look at that shit. It's badass Namco. Yep. RPG? Yep, action RPG. <clears throat> so many PS1 games. You're gonna like this next one. I got this from Chad. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, it's sitting right there. <sighs> but mine's not the long box version. It's just the original oh. jewel case release of Resident Evil. And he 1. just gave that to you? Yeah. That's the only one I don't have. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to give that to me. You got it right there. It's fine. No, I want every version of that bullshit. <laughs> Even though it's, a, it's the exact same game. I want it. I want the manual mostly, but that's it. That's all I want. I'll take that. Well, Thank you. I'll just put it. We might as well just put it right next to each other. That's it. Yeah. Evil, Why not? Right, we should have put. We should have put Dead Aim over there too. Yeah, we should have. <laughs> it's the exact same game. I just like the long verse version because it's like the original. Yeah, the OG. Release. Yeah, that's so funny. I, I, it's like the only one I need, and you got it. Same month, and you got it for free. This is a weird. This is just weird coincidence. So this next game is, I'm gonna show some Enix love with Dragon Warrior Seven. Oh, wait, you know, yeah. AKA Dragon Quest Seven. Did? No, wait, that I was almost a, got that right. It was a Japanese version. That's the why Japanese, you didn't get it. Yeah. I already had it too. That's why I was passing on it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that's why. Okay. And let's keep the JRPG train going. Capcom. You were, I got this in the game hunting video. You already know. Oh yeah, yeah. Breath of Fire, Fo. Fo. Nice. <clears throat> got this at Game Pond and the game hunting trip. You buy, a, you buy a house with this shit. Suey Coden one. Yep. You got two, didn't you? What? Two. What? You got Suey Coden too. You got to pull it, that. Does shit? it look like I have Suey Coden too? That's a no. fucking expensive ass game. I'm saying, are you got to pull that shit out? I fucking wish. <laughs> <laughs> so I got this and I got one of these games on the game hunting trip and then I got the second one <laughs> from Disc Replay Livonia. So I got Mega Man Legends 1 and 2. Oh my god. Of course you did. You can't just get one. You have to get I always got to complete the you series. You got to complete man. the series in one month. Always. Always. What is wrong with you? I don't know. It's It's my OCD ADHD. Uh, yeah, I don't yeah, know what I it is. I I like to like Pace it out, you know, you get one. But I find game. good deals on them. I can't fucking. It's, you know how hard it is for me to pass up a deal? I see. When yeah, I have you, store credit and coupons, uh, too. I mean, if you have that, of course, yeah. So, that was part of the Growl Lancer and Wild Arms 4. I got it all at the same time, number two. and. Mm. So, I already pulled out uh, 
the second Ooh. title in this series earlier, and it's Grandia 1 on PS1. <laughs> nice. <laughs> You're just getting all the RPGs. <laughs> You just That's my goal, that man. Set. All the RPGs. Didn't you get uh, Grandia 3 last yep. month? Yep. Is there any more of that? I don't think so, right? Grandia Extreme. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't have that, right? You don't have that. I don't right? have that, yeah. no. So, this next game is going to make you mad a little bit. A little bit. I'm already mad. This one's from Chad. It's not really your type of game, but just what it is is going to make you mad. Because it's expensive. Yeah. Go ahead. It Let's is. See. Ogre Battle. Oh! <laughs> So crazy that Ogre Battle is Atlas because now the series is owned by Square Enix. It was Quest too. Quest developed them, I think. Pretty like ninety nine percent sure, but so now I have Tactics Ogre and Ogre Battle. Bro, I'm blind from all this. You got that for free? Yeah. Holy shit! All right, I got two. Hold on a second. <laughs> Hold. Is this the real? No, that's not the real. That's one. a repro that's case. Re he got the he had the disc just so, chilling in his garage or wherever the fuck in his basement. So in his basement. Hey, what's funny is he had um, a Gears of War. See that Gears of War one Metal Collector's Edition up there? Yeah. It's like a tin that opens up like not like a game case, literally like a tin. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was in that. Holy shit! So I got Let's put that up. I got two games left. Two games left. Okay. Yeah. Um, More than that? Yeah. Wow. Here, put this over here. Yeah. Because I want to. We're gonna put the last two games up here. Just do it. So see it. You mentioned one of the games in this video earlier, and it's Sui Coden Two. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! Hold on a second. Is that the real case? No. The repro case. Is that the real man? No. No. I don't even want to touch it. I'm going to burst into fucking flames because I'm mad. <laughs> Holy shit, man. And I still got one more game to show. You didn't get this. that from Chad, did you? No. Okay, I was about to say, Chad, come on, man. I understand maybe Ogre, but not this. Holy shit. I knew you had it. I knew you had it. Do you have that? No. This? Yeah. No, hell no. <laughs> Fuck no. So now I have Sui Coden 1 through 5, I think. You have 5? <clears throat> I think so. I don't know. 1 through 4. I don't have 5. Go ahead, man. This last last one. Last game. Let's do it. Let's take a wild guess. I'm showing it after Sui Coden 2. PS1? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So what is I it? I know what it is. What is it? Because if, if, if this video... If I wasn't in this video, I think you would show this last. But... It's Kodoka, isn't it? It's Kodoka. It's just a... It's a... It was dead. What the fuck is wrong with you? Are you Italian? I am no <laughs> What the fuck? I hate you so fucking much. Is you have all four discs or three? What's yep. it called? Four. And Foul. He, Foul. And he has the um I mean it's a repro, but that is fucking sweet. Holy shit. You know what? I'm mad at you. You're the worst person alive. But I get to play it. I, I get to borrow your shit. I'll let you hold one of my expensive games. But <laughs> damn, son, where'd you find that one? Uh, marketplace. Both of these I got off of marketplace. How much? You, what? Um, did you, did you pay out the ass for it? I think it's I okay. paid. I think for the because this is a repro case and manual. So is this? I mean, it's this I paid only, right? one fifty for Sui Coden two. That's actually cheap. And I think I think it was one forty for Kadoka. <laughs> Oh my god. Is it um so this is an RPG, right? Yeah. It's yeah. like a horror it's like a this type of RPG I want. It's not like Parasite Eve, but it's still like a survival horror RPG. Kind of like controls. Tank, it's more turn-based. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it has tank controls too. Oh, see, Miles just gave it to me, man. I know you don't like that. You Miles you just I know you made a mistake. So, just give it to pretty me. Pretty sure this is the most impressive game hunting month that I've oh. ever had. Oh yeah. I have to say, I mean, all the stuff I would want, fuck yeah. I mean, you had, like, great months other than this, but this is fucking insane. And I kind of, so I had a suspicion that you will probably get this because I want it. <laughs> I want, you've been looking for it, but I'm super, 
Like, these two? That is insane that you got that. You got that for free. What? And you got that. Thanks, Chad. I love you. <laughs> Chad, he's MVP. Man, shout out to Chad. Follow, I don't know if he has, like, a business or something. Go follow that, man, because he's a great <laughs> man. <laughs> but hey, if you ever need help in Final Fantasy fourteen, he's your guy. Exactly. Yep. Go... Go help him. Uh, just go find out what he can help you with, cause he's a great man. I don't know what to say. I'm Italian now. I know. I know us. Uh, fucking uh, Italian. Bippity boopity. Bippity boopity boop. Okay. No Mario games though. But uh, yeah. That, anything else, man? Um. You wanna? No, that's it. I got like a pain on my side. I think you caused it over all these fucking pickups. I think it's just cause you're 30 now. <laughs> that too. That too. Uh, but <laughs> oh my god. So that was our pickups video for. January 2022. Starting the year off right. Man, I need to step up my game. As in, I need to stop being broke. But uh, <laughs> but that was that was it. Thank you for watching. Shout out to all the businesses we got this from. All the people, Chad especially. Chad is the MVP. Yeah, Chad's the man. And uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me. Showing you all, all your games. And we'll see you in the next dimension. Peace.